In this video, I'm going to be spray tinting the rear lights on my Audi A4, turning them from a bright red like this, to a slightly darker smoked colour like this. I'm keeping the OEM look, but you can make this as dark as you want during the tinting stage. We start off by removing the lights on the car. I see a few people doing this with the lights on, but in my opinion, it's easier and safer to remove them from the car rather than masking the area off. This way, there's no chance of overspray. The first thing we need to do is key the lights. This means putting some light scratches of 800 to 1200 grit sandpaper into the lens of the light. This will give the paint something to stick to. If you don't do this step, your tint job will start flaking off in a matter of days. I'm just going to take some soapy water and 1200 grit sandpaper and scuff the light up in horizontal motions. To ensure complete coverage, make sure you concentrate on the edges and scuff vertically if you need to on some of the edges. When the light is sufficiently scuffed, which should take just a couple of minutes, let it dry off. The entire light should now be consistently dull and faded with no gloss or reflections left on them. If there is, carry on keying. Next up, we're going to take our spray paint, links in the description below, and we're going to shake this up for a good couple of minutes to mix the paint. This is a special lens paint so it's much thinner than a regular spray paint. This allows us to build up our tints and layers and not darken them too much by accident. As you can see, when I spray it on this plastic bag, there's very little paint that comes out, which is exactly what we need. Following the instructions on the back, I keep the can about 8 to 10 inches away from the lens, and I aim for light first coat. Let the light sit for about 10 minutes, then come back for the next coat. I'm going to apply about 3 coats to this light, which you can apply more if you want for a darker finish. It's preferable to have more thin coats than less thick coats. So with the lights all painted we need to leave them for about 20 minutes until they become touch dry and now we're going to apply some clear lacquer to the top of them. This one here I'm using is another high coat on, the other thing as well which I like about this is it protects from UV damage so it's going to stop them from oxidising as well. It's going to just add an extra layer of protection over the lights and if you look quite carefully at this because they're coming from a spray can you're not going to get a perfect finish when you start off so you can see there's some orange peel to the lights i mean it looks all right but um i definitely personally want a smoother finish so when we apply this we can actually come back in about 24 hours and we can actually sand the light down and polish them properly and get a crystal clear perfect finish to the lens so just like the paint let's uh shake up for about two minutes maybe stick in some hot water again if you need to and it's the uh, very same thing, you're going to build up in thin layers rather than going on with one thick layer, otherwise it's going to get runs on the lens. So, probably going to apply about three coats to this light. The spray patterns from the spray cans aren't that great, and being honest, my technique isn't perfect either. So expect the light to look a little bit duller at this stage and for it to feel a bit rough. Don't worry though, when we're finished, it'll be as smooth as glass and as reflective as a mirror. So this is 24 hours later, we've took the lights back off the car, I stuck it back on just for the night while I was driving around. Um, as you can see now, definitely a few shades darker but the problem is they are uh, quite matte in the finish. 
And it's really just due to like the orange peel on the clear coats when it's applied. You know, the spray patterns from a can are just not as good as a proper spray gun. And you know, I'm not a professional sprayer or anything like that. So, you know, this is down to probably tools and technique, but we can actually get this back and make it shinier again. And what we need to do now is actually sand the clear coats until it's perfectly smooth. This is not going to go through the clear coats, you're not going to take off where you stuck on, it's just going to take off all that orange peel and hopefully when it's smooth give it a better reflection. The reason we let them um, sit for 24 hours is so the clear coats can cure, it can harden and so when you're taking them off you're not going to actually take the clear coats back off the light. So we're going to start off again with 12 from the grit sandpaper. This time, crucially, I'm going to go in the cross hatch method. So on our first grit, because uh, after this we're going to use 1500 grit and then 25, we're going to start in horizontal motions and only go in horizontal motions when you're doing this. If you have to at the end, you can use some vertical motions just on the two end surfaces, just to make sure you get complete coverage. After doing that for, let's say, a couple of minutes, just go and wipe it off. What I hope to see, once it's all dried off, is all the lines going in a horizontal fashion. Now, as you can see here, looking at them, you can still see bits of the clear coat. They still have orange peel in, so we're going to go over this again and make sure that all these little bits here are completely smoothed out and it's got a very uniform, dull, horizontal look to the light. That's made a couple more passes on this now. You can pretty much see that all the orange peel's gone on the lights. And at this stage now, it's actually time to move on to the next grit, which is 1500. And I'm going to do this. We're going to go in horizontal methods instead. And because this cross hatch method, the way it works, it will completely sand against the horizontal scratches stuck into the light. So you can concentrate the entire power of your sanding against undoing the damage that the 1200 grit sandpaper has done. What you'll notice every single time you do something like this, um, when you finish the stage, is the lights will start getting a little bit shinier and shinier. And this is the clear coats become smooth and smoother and reflecting the light better. So with the 1200 grit, it's kind of important not to focus on it too long or no more than you have to. Um, there's a risk of going back through the clear coat if you spend too long doing it. Uh, not so much with the finer grit sandpapers because they're not as abrasive. But it's definitely something you want to keep in mind. And that's why you really stick a thick coat of clear coat on to begin with, because you are going to be thinning that coat back out. When we wipe the lights off again now, we should see that all the lines are running vertical rather than horizontal. So hopefully at this point you can see the lights don't get a little bit more shine compared to when we use the 1200 grit sandpaper. Compared to the light before, the actual light is much smoother to the touch. So what we're going to do now in the next couple of stages is really get this light nice and shiny. It's going to look far better than the light before did. So we're going to go back to uh, sanding again now. We're going to use 2500 grit sandpaper. This is going to be the last sanding stage. Then I'm just going to polish the lights and wax them. This time we're going to go, go in horizontal motions again. This is my favourite step, the cutting compound. This is a little bit harsher than a polish, but softer than 2500 grit sandpaper. And this is the step where you can really see the biggest difference. Shake it up, apply some to a cloth and go in circular motions. Then onto the polish to remove the slight haze left by from the compound. Apply this in the exact same way as the cutting compound. Mm. 
Finally, I'm going to add a paint sealant, or wax if you prefer, to add the final touch of definition and clarity to the light. Now it's time to put them back on the car, and I am so happy with the results, it was just what I wanted. And if this video has been useful to you, please leave a comment, like or consider hitting that subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching, see you soon, take care.